Hi. You probably have seen me before on this channel. My name is Rick Strom and I joined the Young Turks in 2011 and I'm from Chicago, Illinois. TYT Sports, everybody. Rick Strom here with editor-in-chief of Boxing.com, Robert Exel. Robert, how are you today? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Now, many of you also probably saw me as the crying guy who departed from the Young Turks Network back in 2014, seen here. So, it is my pleasure to announce that I am rejoining the Young Turks Network. Now, I want to go over just a little bit of my journey, what's happened in the past few years, and why I'm returning. Joining TYT in 2011 was one of the best things that had ever happened to me. I had complete creative control of TYT Sports, and many of you appreciated it, and some of you didn't, which is totally fine. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. From there, we grew the channel together. Hey guys, it's Rick from TYT Sports. I wanted to tell you about a new thing we're doing called Countdown to Kickoff. We want you to submit questions about your favorite teams on our Facebook page. I decided to leave Greg because I felt like he didn't have my best interest anymore. Greg is not the same coach he used to be. He has called your gym commercial and transient. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry he feels that way. Certainly uh, his teammates don't seem to feel that way, uh, and uh, I don't feel that way. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! What's happening? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Uh, holy shit, this is the last quarter. Like, I think they should play a fifth quarter because it was only then sort of about to get it. It just didn't feel... Maybe it was the a halftime show. I know it's always long. I just didn't feel into this game at any point, although it was exciting. <laughs> they suck! They suck! I understand that there's going to be, you know, there, there are those students in college that obviously take the game very seriously. Apparently it came from the band. I mean, look, fans are going to say whatever the hell they want to, and I'm not saying it's acceptable, but it's even worse when it is the band of the school that sang this kind of shit. My guy coming in from, I believe, Canada, Average Trauma, I hear this lack of effort and just overall poor player commitment so much more in football than in our sports leagues here. Completely agree. It wasn't necessarily about what I was doing. It was the fact that you guys continued to watch. You entrusted me with your voices to read your tweets, to react in the comments section, and to launch different forms of content, which is exactly what we're going to be doing even to a greater degree. When I left in 2014, I joined a digital startup called 120 Sports. exactly would you place him on the ranks of greatest American soccer players ever? Would you put him at the top? Would you say that he is top two, top three? What's well, well he's, he's clearly at the top. I was able to come back to Chicago, be with family for about three and a half years, and it was an incredible journey. Unfortunately, 120 Sports did not take off in the way that they hoped and also that I hoped. And unfortunately, with sports media dwindling, cuts started to occur. And I was unfortunately one of those cuts. It had nothing to do with my performance, as they told me. And there's nothing bitter about it on either sides. I love the people I worked with. I love the people that hired me. Unfortunately, that's just the way sports media is right now. Uh, as Jim Carrey would say, that's the way the cookie crumbles. And that's unfortunately how it crumbled. Uh, I was in somewhat of a bad spot and somewhat of a dark place after this because I knew that it was totally unwarranted, but I also knew the business decision behind it, along with many other people that were there. However, as that happened, there were a few uh, consistent pieces, I would say, uh, that really helped me through a very, very difficult time, an incredibly difficult time. Uh, number one, I found in Chicago one of the most amazing people uh, in the world. And that is my girlfriend who has stuck by me through this entire thing. We've been dating for about three years and she is 
one of the best things that has ever happened to me, and I absolutely adore her and love her like crazy. I got to meet her family as they welcomed me in. Um, I got to spend time with my family. I got to develop incredible contacts. I adopted a dog with my girlfriend named Carl, who you're probably gonna see a ton of in these videos. <laughs> Through everything that happened, and it's weird how when one door closes, another one opens, it took forever. It took me pivoting my search from being in sports media to being in PR, to being in marketing, to being in advertising, just trying to find something. And I know many people struggle with this, but it was hard and it was difficult. And you keep taking coffee meetings and maybe something happens, maybe something doesn't, but you continue to throw yourself out there and leaving yourself vulnerable. And in a way you learn from it. And that's exactly what occurred with me. I spoke with my mentor who is also as you all well know, the CEO of the Young Turks, Cenk Uger, could not have been more helpful. My other mentor, Ben Mankiewicz, could not have been more helpful. My other mentor at TYT, Michael Schur, who you see at times on the main show, could not have been more helpful. And they all gave me sound pieces of advice the night it occurred and also throughout this process. Cenk and I spoke on and off maybe every other month for the past year. Um, and a decision was made and after uh, considering it and going over everything and going over every scenario as well, every nook and cranny to those scenarios, uh, my girlfriend and I decided to accept a position to rejoin the Young Turks Network and I could not be more thrilled. I've always viewed TYT as my second family, obviously outside of the immediate Strom family and I cannot wait to rejoin that family once again in Los Angeles. I'll be doing videos remotely for a few months uh, in Chicago because my girlfriend currently is doing uh, interior design school in Chicago. She's then gonna be joining one of the top programs in Los Angeles, and we absolutely cannot wait. And I cannot wait to interact with you, the audience, once again. And I cannot wait to just simply be a part of this culture that we have created together and it just feels so right. So thank you very much for watching this video and thank you for welcoming me back once again. I truly, truly appreciate it.